Hi guys, my name is Kumar Rajindran. I'm a final year student from University Malaysia Police. And in this video, I'm going to do a simple solar system for the project uh, Isulam. And uh, this is for the subject ENT461, Renewable Energy. Right? So in this video, I'm going to explain what are the components that needs, how to install, and also what is the simple calculation that we're going to do. Alright, let's watch. So uh, before we get into the installation, uh, let me tell you guys uh, what are the important components need for a simple solar system. Right? First here, we have a, a pure sine wave inverter. So this is a 300 watt inverter, basically uh, convert from DC to AC current. Okay. And the next component will be the uh, battery. So this battery is a 12 volt battery and uh, cap with the capacity of 12 AH. So we have a uh, two battery here. This is a solar charge controller. So where it will be receive the current from the solar panel and also supply the current to the battery. So next is a circuit breaker. So what a circuit breaker does is basically, let's say there is an excess current or short circuit happen from the battery to the inverter. So basically it will automatically be cut off the power, right? So this is basically to protect the device. Okay, so next uh, we have a 50 watt solar panel. So basically this is charge the electricity from the sunlight. Uh, so friends, this is the basic setup for the solar system. So here we have a solar panel, 50 watt solar panel. And this is a solar charge controller. And here we have uh, two batteries. And uh, this is a circuit breaker and also it's connected to the earth inverter alright so now I'm going to explain how the installation is done at first we have connected the battery in parallel so you can see the positive terminal is connected to this battery positive terminal and also this negative terminal is connected to this negative terminal so it's connected in parallel okay after we done this basic connection we will connect the wire the cable to solar charge controller where uh, the power will be supplied from the panel to the battery but always re uh, remember uh, before connect to the panel make sure you connect to the battery first so after we connect the battery to the solar charge controller next you're going to connect the panel to solar charge controller right so the red color cable is positive and the black cable is a negative right so we'll be connecting to solar charge controller and uh, this is the symbol for the panel Okay. So just now I have explained how to connect the battery to solar charge controller and also the second step how to connect the panel to solar charge controller. Right. So now I'm going to explain how to connect the inverter. Okay. And uh, okay, here the battery is connected to the uh, solar charge controller. Okay. Then the inverter, basically this is the positive and negative. Okay, it's connected to the battery. Okay. But the, as you can see here, we have a circuit breaker. What it does is, if any high voltage is basically will cut off the power, right? So, uh, so the positive terminal from the battery will connect to one side of the circuit breaker, and then another side, the positive will be connected to the uh, inverter, right? And the negative negative uh, terminal is direct to the inverter. Okay. So now I'm going to show how to uh, use it, right? So basically, I'm going to connect my uh, phone charger with my phone, okay? So I'm going to plug in, alright? And also, I'm going to connect the circuit breaker, connect it, alright? So this is my cable I connect to my phone. So I'm going to power on it. So you can see, it is charging. For the battery, there are two types of uh, connection, which are series and parallel, okay? So for the series connection, it will be like this, where the negative terminal of the first battery will connect to the positive terminal of the second battery. And then the first battery positive terminal and the second battery negative terminal will be connected to the load. Here, the case is 12 voltage each battery, but when it's connected to the series, it will become 24 volt, okay? And the current is, uh, each battery is 12 AH, 
but when it's connected to series, it still maintained as 12Ah. For the parallel connection, the positive terminal of the first battery will be connected to the positive terminal of the second battery, and the negative terminal of the first battery will be connected to the uh, negative terminal of another battery. And then the both uh, positive and negative from the uh, first uh, battery will be connected to the load. For this parallel case, the voltage will be maintained the same, 12 volt, but the capacity or the current of the battery will be 24 AH, where 12 AH plus with the 12 AH. For series, uh, the, uh, the voltage will be plus together. For the parallel, the current will be plus together. So for our case, we will be using parallel connection. Okay, next is the battery capacity. And this calculation is for the parallel connection. So we have a two battery, each have a 12 AH of uh, current storage. So we have a 24 AH total. And also for the voltage, it's uh, in a parallel connection, it will be fixed, which is 12 volt. All right. And to calculate the power uh, of the battery, the power supply from the battery, uh, the formula we will use is power equals to IV. All right. So it will be times 24 will be times with the 12 volt. So we will get a total of 288 watt uh, power supply from the battery. Okay. But usually, for a lead acid battery that we are using for this project, it's actually recommended to not use fully 100%. So, it's recommended to use about 60 to uh, 70%. So, for if let's say we take about 70%, it will be like about uh, 200 watt. Okay, how long does it take for this 50 watt solar panel to fully charge it? So it will be 200 watt divided by 50 watt. So this is the battery uh, capacity to charge, and this is the for the solar panel. All right. So it's about it takes about four hours for it to fully charge. So we have come to the end of the video, so I hope you guys have learned something and also understand the process uh, of this solar system. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please drop down in the comment box below. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.